Now, if you were coming from Uxbridge along the A413, you would follow the signs to Amersham. I'm just driving round to the first roundabout that you would come to at Chalfont St. Peter. So if you're coming from Uxbridge, I would pick you up where this car's just coming out here, a no bigness to it. So I pick you up here and we follow the road straight on towards Amersham. There are some roadworks here at the moment. I don't know how long they're going on for. Oh, a bit of sunshine, don't sound too soon. under this bridge and then we'll come to a second roundabout which we're also going straight over so this is Chalfont St Peter there's a nice pub that sells nice food just here on the left I forget what it's called is it the water mill or something the Greyhound, sorry, the Greyhound big car park around the back. We're going straight over this roundabout. Unfortunately the road works with traffic lights temporarily here. There's an ambulance station just on the left. We're going straight on up here and I can, I can see that the lights have just turned red so we'll be waiting here for a little bit. Chalfont St Peter is not very far from Gerrard's Cross and again you might, uh, you might in your second or third year be renting accommodation in either of those places if you're lucky but actually in your second, third year you'll be in Wickham so um, you may not want to be out here but it's a nice part of the world Don't get too anxious, the fact we've got an ambulance station on our left and a hearse in front of us. Um, there happens to be the crematorium a few miles on on this road, Amersham Crematorium. And I think that's where this uh, car in front is heading. So, um, just past these traffic lights, we're going to be turning right now. If you come here and there aren't traffic lights, watch the speed up this bit. It's still restricted. It's easy to put your foot down and get going. Uh, but we're going to turn right here, following the signs to Chilton Open Air Museum. Again, there's a big heap of stones from road workings. I don't know how long this is going on for. So follow this Rickmansworth Lane, all the way up Rickmansworth Lane. We'll stay on this road for about a mile, wiggles up the hill slowly. With a horse chestnut tree which has unfortunately got this disease causing its leaves to fall early, or at least turn early. Great ship shame. So carry on up here past this garage. You can take a short cut to the left there, but just carry on this way. More straightforward. And then you come to this green bit and a bus shelter, new bus shelter, and we're going to be turning left left at the top here. Again you can see the signs for Centre for Epilepsy, University College, no university and the Chilton Open Air Museum and we'll go along that way. We're actually right next to the Chilton Open Air Museum and that is better signposted than the Chalfont campus so if you have any trouble ask for the Open Air Museum. On the right is the Centre for Epilepsy Some 
lovely trees in Buckinghamshire. Unfortunately, uh, Dutch elm disease got a lot of the elm trees. The beech trees were mostly used for furniture making. Um, the oak trees seem to be surviving, but it's unfortunate the horse chestnuts have now got some are now threatened by, I think, two or three different diseases. So we're now coming out of uh, the speed limit, but don't get excited, it's still a wiggly rural road. And not too far away we'll be turning right at an intersection. So most of the crops have now been harvested. Farmers have been very busy recently because it's been quite a wet summer. And as the trees start closing in, prepare to turn right at an intersection just up the top here. Right towards Open Air Museum and the sign still said University College. They've just nicely made this ridge of road up for us. So it's a nice new bit of road. It's quite narrow. Uh, you might well find uh, people on horseback or the odd lorry. If you come at the weekend it shouldn't be too bad. but. Um, busy days. So we're not going very far down here before we turn left into the Chalfont campus. So when that road starts to look as though it's opening up a bit, so a sign there that says Bucks New University and the Open Air Museum. So we're coming to here now, down through this avenue of horse chestnuts. Unfortunately some of these have got the disease which is affecting horse chestnuts and are losing their leaves. One or two have already had to be felled and have been replaced. So proceed up here to the security barrier and then you'll be advised where to go. Straight ahead is the old manor house. So come to this security barrier and you'll probably be advised to turn into the Students' Union building where student ambassadors will pick you up and show you where to go. So I'll just turn around here and show you where you're coming to. Student Union office and bar and restaurant. So a sign there that says Bucks New University and the Open Air Museum. So we come into here now. Down through this avenue of horse chestnuts. Fortunately some of these have got the disease which is affecting horse chestnuts and are losing their leaves. One or two have already had to be felled and have been replaced. So proceed up here to the security barrier and then you'll be advised where to go. Straight ahead is the old manor house. So come to this security barrier and you'll probably be advised to turn into the Students' Union building where student ambassadors will pick you up and show you where to go. So I'll just turn around here and show you where you're coming to. Student Union office and bar and restaurant.